on Dexter Season 1. Do note, I am going to be spoiling the entire first season of Dexter here. So let's start with the Ice Truck Killer, a.k.a. Rudy, a.k.a. Biney, a.k.a. Brian. Rudy is exactly what the show should have, you know, what it should try to explore. It is Dexter, our lead, who we do kind of care about and who we don't really want to see get caught, even though we know that he maybe shouldn't be doing what he's doing. He's Dexter without the code, because he didn't have Harry teaching him the code. He's what Dexter would be if it wasn't for Harry's code. And we get an excellent climax out of that at the very end of the season, with Dexter having to choose between his flesh and blood brother and his stepsister, his stepfamily. And he does, of course, choose Deborah. And, you know, it sets up the next, the following season nicely with, you know, was it the right choice? Would he have been happier if he had joined with his brother and killed their way through Miami like brother and brother? Or, you know, and, and it does show that Dexter cares. He does care about his sister, quote-unquote. And the fact that the Ice Truck Killer is introduced in the very first episode and becomes the... the overall story arc, really, for the season is a really great idea. It is an interesting thing to explore on the show. I liked Rita's development, how... In, in general, I just want to say they really managed to make Rita an interesting character. I mean, she starts out as a victim, but we never tire of her. It's never like, oh, come on, just grow up here and grow up, you know. No, we, we genuinely care about her from basically the very beginning. I mean, at the start, she's basically Dexter's beard, you know, but then, you know, he gets turned on by thinking about the ice truck killer, thinking about his trade, you know, it, it, it stimulates his attention to detail, his his urge, his dark side, you know, and he gets aroused. She really doesn't want to hear any of it, and then later she kind of realizes, oh shit, did I just blow a really good thing here, and then she does blow, yeah makes quite good sense, you know, and then they do start having an active sexual relationship. And Rita grows to be very strong and empowered. You know, the way she actually tells off Paul at times. I really do feel bad for you know, the actor who plays Paul, I mean, seriously, he plays, like, every bad guy on recent shows. He's, like, the go-to guy for, you know, he's just, he's got that face. You don't quite trust him. You think, ah, oh, that guy's up to no good. The exploration of Batista, his the personal life was reasonable. They didn't spend a lot of time on it. It did make us care a little more. I'm going to go right ahead and just say it. I never really cared for neither Dokes nor La Guerta. I don't know. I guess just their introductions just really... 
they never really <laughs> redeemed themselves after that, I guess. Just from Deb's reaction, you know that LaGuerta is kind of a bitch. Dox's very first appearance is, you know, angry at Dexter. Ah, oh, what are you doing? You know, he's just, I don't know, I hated him right away, and at no point in the first season did I grow to like him. I did enjoy the scene of him at home with, you know, the, the sisters, this, you know, small family that a test stereotypical, typical, but funny, and I didn't really perceive his family as any kind of negative, really. I like to hang out with him, really. And I think that the show did really great at having a lot of stuff really happen in just, you know, 12 episodes. I hadn't expected that it would manage that when it's half a season compared to other shows. But I know, you know, it's showtime, it's that package of showtime and package. So that was very impressive. They really, there was a lot of growth for the characters for the season and it didn't feel like they were rushing it along either. I mean, in under 12 hours, Rita went, you know, from completely, you know, frigid and very frail to stronger and, you know, taking back her sexuality. That might be about what there is to say about the first season, so... Yeah, those are my thoughts on the first season of Dexter. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.